Hi, this is Dave Bliven, Westchester and Bronx divorce attorney with another Lessons from the Divorce Wars. So this lesson comes in with a relatively recent case that I took over. So the client had consulted me initially about a year or so ago, um, didn't hire me for the case, went with a less expensive attorney and paid dearly. Hired this attorney, uh, they got the case filed in court, but then strangely enough, this attorney started filing motions all over the place, asking to consolidate a family court action into the divorce case, asking for uh, child support and maintenance and counsel fees and everything else. Problem number one, they didn't serve the summons yet, which is kind of a basic thing that attorneys in this field would know to do. Um, and instead of doing that, uh, they kept filing motion after motion after motion. It got up to like five or six motions that they filed before the judge and they had not even served the summons. Indeed, the defendant came into the case by an attorney and my client's former attorney tried to serve the, the attorney with the summons and the attorney was like, I'm not going to accept the summons from you. And the judge can't force the attorney to accept the summons. Um, and so <clears throat> there's a couple lessons to be learned. Number one, um, you know, this is another lesson where, you know, fight against that instinct if you can afford a better attorney. Fight against that instinct to just hire based on price because you get what you pay for in life. And if you go with a cheap attorney, you may end up uh, spending more money because of, you know, that attorney not knowing what they're doing. Um, or, you know, you spend, you spend more time, more aggravation, et cetera, on the case. So that's number one. Number two is if something does not smell right to you in terms of what your attorney is doing on the case, have a second consultation as soon as possible. Don't let your attorney go and spend tens of thousands of dollars of your money without just double checking and saying, hey, let me, let me review the case with another attorney, even if it's a much more expensive attorney that you know you can't afford, sometimes it's better getting that opinion from the much more experienced attorney to then be able to go back to your current attorney with an informed second opinion and say, hey, I'm not sure that you're doing things correctly um, you know, why is it that you're, that you're doing things in this manner? Can you explain that to me? You know, any good attorney is going to be able to then explain to you what they're doing and why they're doing it. Um, the, the lesser attorneys are going to get very defensive about, uh, that, that question. So, you know, just just word to the wise along those lines and learn that lesson from, from a now present client. Um, if you're looking for similar answers to these types of questions, check out my blog. You'll find it on my website, which is blivenlaw.net backslash blog. See you next time.